Hello everyone and welcome to our Field Lens project reporting training video. My name is Sarah and I'll be guiding you today as we walk through some basic steps to create, view, export, and share reports for your Field Lens projects. All of the processes I'll be going over today will be performed from the desktop or web version of Field Lens, not via the mobile application. These techniques will help you to quickly and effectively share the most up-to-date project information with your team members and most importantly with your customers. Upon logging into FieldLens, you'll be brought by default to the Posts tab of your project. You can create a report from this page by clicking the Export Report button in the top right hand corner. There are also several other places throughout the project that a report can be created. By clicking on the Reports tab, on the top menu bar, you can view existing reports and you'll also see an Export Report button in the top right corner of this screen. Lastly, when viewing an individual drawing from the Drawings tab, you'll see a document icon here that allows you to export reports directly from within the Drawing View screen. Once you click the Export Report button from any of these locations, you'll be able to walk through the steps of creating your new report. It's important to note that to begin creating a report, you will first need to have at least one post on your project, as reports are built off of data from existing posts. To help you get started creating your report, FieldLens will take you to a pop-up menu, where you'll be able to make choices about what types of data will be included in the report and how it will be formatted. Your first step will be to either use the Report Includes drop-down to set a basic filter for your report, or to use the left-hand side menu to set advanced filters and narrow down the type of data you want to include in your report. By using the basic filter dropdown, you can select to include only posts of a specific tag or status. To include more than one of these categories, you will need to use the advanced filter menu on the left side of the window. By clicking the expand arrow, or just clicking anywhere along this left side menu, you can expand the filter bar and begin making selections. You can click on the post status or post flags to select the type of posts you wish to include and then click out of the drop down when you're finished. You can also use the checkboxes and refining options under the refine by heading to narrow down included posts even more. When you've finished setting your filters, you can collapse this side menu bar and move on to the details section of the report builder simply by clicking out here in this open space. Over here in details, you'll give your report a name. So we'll go ahead and call it progress report. We can select individuals who we'd like to send a copy of this report to. We can simply go ahead and search. Also, if desired, we can add a project code or notes to this report. These will appear on the report's cover page. The next step in creating your report is to make formatting decisions that will affect how the data in your report will be put together and displayed. You can do this by clicking on the pencil icon next to the word format. In the formatting section, you'll need to choose whether your report should be produced as a PDF or a CSV file. And you'll also need to choose from one of the several available formatting options. You can see here we've got options for our layout. You can visualize the layout of each formatting option by choosing it and then referencing the preview to the left. So you can see here, we can see the preview for compact, drawing status, full history, or custom. If you do not like any of the pre-made formats available, you can always choose the last option, custom, to personalize your report format and ensure that it will view in a way that is most functional for your needs. Simply scroll through the list of checkboxes to select what details to include in the report, how to display them, and how to group information. Once you're satisfied with your formatting options, you have one more decision to make before publishing your report. If you would like to schedule this report to run at regular intervals and send itself automatically to the listed recipients, you can do this by using the schedule section immediately below the formatting section. Simply click the pencil icon and check the box that says schedule this report to run automatically. As you can see, you'll then be able to specify the frequency, runtime, start and end dates of the report automation. Lastly, you can check the box at the bottom if you'd like to also run this report immediately, as well as on the specified schedule. 
Now that you've fully configured your report, you can click the blue Create Report button in the lower right corner of the window to run the report or to start the run schedule. Once you click Create Report, you'll simply get a schedule set up and we can click Refresh. The finished report will appear in the email inbox of all recipients, as well as in the Reports tab of Field Lens. To view the report from the Reports tab, you can click anywhere along the row of the report you'd wish to view. It will immediately download a copy to your computer. Open the copy from the bottom of your browser tab, or using the downloads file in your desktop computer files. You can also use the More icon on the far right-hand side to download the report or rerun a report with the same specifications. As one final note, you will also notice on the left-hand side of the Reports tab that you have the ability to view lists of reports by category, such as scheduled reports, one-time reports, and reports shared with you. And with that, we have now explored all of the functionalities for Field Lens Project Reporting. Today, you've learned how to create, export, schedule, and download reports within a project. Should you wish to learn how to create or view reports on the Field Lens mobile application, please be sure to view our Field Lens mobile app training video. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and thank you for choosing Field Lens.